here we are at the Digital Life Show with Christian Fletcher. Christian's been shooting with the X-Pro1. Um, prior to that, he was shooting with the X100. And um, Christian's an amazing landscape photographer. He's done, uh, worked in the industry for many, many years. Has numerous galleries in WA. And um, how did you first get involved in photography, Christian? Uh, I first got involved uh, uh, back in, uh, what was it? 1990, I think it was. I moved down south, and I didn't have any trade. I didn't have any um, sort of uh, knowledge about doing photography at all. I just figured that I'd get, um, I get into it, set up a black and white darkroom, and you know, have a go. Okay. I thought it'd be a good, fun thing to do. Excellent. And you've been shooting with the X Pro One um, recently. What, yeah. what do you like about that product? I mean, how does it? You obviously shoot high-end digital, and used to shoot 617 Fuji cameras with film. How does that product work for you in the field with what you do? Uh, well, the thing now is that it actually makes, uh, makes it a lot easier to get a lot of different shots. Uh, just recently I was out shooting at a place called Sugarloaf Rock, which is near, near home. And normally um, I would go somewhere that's fairly safe. I'd have my big gear and I'd be you know, tripod the whole thing. But uh, I wanted to get a different angle. So uh, because it's such a risky place, there's a bit of climbing involved, I decided to get the, uh, take the X-Pro 1 out, no tripod, and just go climb over the rocks and get to areas that I couldn't get to. So, so in that respect, uh, it, it means it fills a bit of a gap. Uh, I can get shots that I can't normally get, you know, with other cameras. And the image size that you're getting out of it's large enough for you to sell in yeah, the gallery? Yeah, for sure, yeah. I mean, it's not any uh, prints for the gallery, which, you know, I, I can do a 20 by 30 from this camera uh, and get a really good result, or I can go even bigger. As you can see around us, there's, and the, the files can go really quite, they can push quite, quite hard. Um, but it's, it's not just about the gallery images, it's about books, images of books, iBooks, you know, stuff for websites, blogs, all that sort of thing. So it's, it's, it's just another part of, of the business and it's another tool that I've got which is, it sort of fills a bit of a gap. And where do you see yourself in a few years time with photography? I mean obviously these tools are available to you but from a business perspective and photography overall? Um, yeah well like it, it, having these sort of cameras, uh, having a, a compact camera with a decent sized sensor in it, uh, I think that's the trick and I think as probably technology improves and progresses, you're going to end up getting a camera that's a, a medium format digital, hopefully from Fuji, that you can use out on the field um, and carry around like this. You know, you can have it around your neck all day and there's no, there's no problems with uh, the weight and stuff. So it just makes it really versatile. And I, I love the freedom. You know, I was shooting an air show uh, last weekend and I just love the freedom of getting out and actually being able to do photography again without having to think about getting my tripod set up and you know, all the different angles. So, it was, yeah, it was. It really makes it. Uh, you feel free. Well, thank you, Christian. It's um, it's great that these photographers give up their valuable time and uh, stand behind behind a product like this. And uh, at Fujifilm, we really appreciate it. So, thank you. Thanks, Kevin.